Reed, tell us about the UK experience for you so far. Nice outing down in uh, down the Bahamas, and now being able to be back here in Lexington to work on everything. How's it been? It's been great so far. I mean, obviously came out this summer, kind of got settled, got established here, and went to the Bahamas. Really got to get a feel for the fan base and, and how Kentucky basketball is done. And then now that I'm back with the students on campus and, and settled into my place, I'm, I'm really starting to feel like this is home. And I've been enjoying it so far. It, it's been a transition, but I've liked every aspect of it. Is this, the, I, I mean, I guess, is this the, the, the longest you've been away from home or like that far from home? No, I wouldn't say that because while I was at Stanford, obviously that's a distance and right, well, yeah, yeah. Okay. my family didn't get to visit me much out right. there. So a lot of the kind of like the woes and the worries that I dealt with as a freshman right. are gone now. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm used to being away yeah. as far as being away from home. So I think that's helped me in this transition is that because I've lived away from home from so many years. That was uh, a little further in Lexington. Exactly. It made it a little easier. <laughs> what, what has been maybe the one thing that that has surprised you or that maybe you weren't prepared for, either good or bad, uh, with UK and being in this program so far? I wouldn't say anything's surprised me. I feel like I, I've, I talked to the coaches before I came here and they, they were upfront about exactly how it's gonna happen and the certain things that they do here and all of that's been true. But just the competitive nature about everybody. I knew that everyone was competitive and loved basketball, loved being in the gym, but when I really got here and really got to feel that, I think it really just opened my eyes. Oh, wow, when you got a group of guys that really want to get better and want to compete every day, it's really something special. We're hearing a lot about gym rats and about guys who come in here on their own. Mm -hmm. Is that what you're seeing? Exactly, exactly. A lot of guys just love being in here early morning, late at night. It doesn't matter. Anytime you come in here, you'll see a ball bouncing, a guy trying to get better at their craft. So that's, that's really special when you don't have to be told to go to work out, that you understand that this is part of making yourself and the team better every day. How difficult has it been for you to, to relate to, I don't know, a guy like Ashton? You know, I mean, you're, you've been through this already. You've, you've mm -hmm. matured. You've found out who you are already, whereas a kid who should be a senior in high school is here on the same <laughs> team as you. you yeah. know, how has that transition been that way? It's been interesting, I, and, and it's one that I, I knew coming in that that's what it was going to be, is that I was going to be an older guy, a fifth-year guy, being around a lot of freshmen and sophomores. But it's been a great transition. I, I think it's, it comes from both ends. They were very accepting of me when I came in this summer. And everybody was like, look, we're, we're going to invite him in. Everyone kind of brought me in in that aspect that they're younger and, and they have different interests than I do, but they still talk to me and we, and we still bond on that level. But me also just being humble enough to say, look, that there's a bunch of years between us or I might have been through a lot of things you have, but I'm still getting to get to know you and I'm still accepting you for what you're doing and what you like to do and things like that. So I think that's been the biggest thing is that both sides just accepting each other and just understanding that this is an interesting type of situation, but I've learned a lot from it and I've been enjoying it a lot. Do they look up to you for that reason? They can tell that, I mean, you're an older guy, you know? You can definitely tell that. I mean, there's a lot of questions that they ask me as far as like, how college basketball is, how the season is, or, and things like that. And, and I have a lot of good answers for them because I've, I've been through the journey and I've been through the process. So for me, it's just being able to give them tidbits anytime they want to ask me those certain things, but also just learning from them. I think it's an interesting perspective of me already having college basketball experience, but in many rights, I feel like a freshman because I'm new to this program. I'm coming in fresh just like they are, new coaches, new teammates, and things like that. So just understanding that we are in the same boat in many different aspects like that. I would imagine being a you know, grad transfer, already having a degree, I mean, you're, you're on a mission, right? I mean, this is, this is a business year kind of, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, already having a degree, that was a big thing for me is getting my degree from Stanford. That was one of my, my life goals is when I was young, I knew I wanted to get that degree and I wanted to finish that off the right way. So this summer, I'm very proud of myself for doing that. But then just having a year of college basketball, I'm in the graduate program, sports and leadership. So obviously that's something that I'm very interested in as well. But as far as the basketball side of it, I knew for one year left to play college basketball, like you said, it is a business trip and, and just a way for me to continue to get better at my craft. Yeah, there's no messing around this year. <laughs> I don't think I mess around one time in college. <laughs> Could you tell that about maybe PJ as well? It feels like he's got that kind of I'm on a mission kind of mindset. Yeah, and I think that's the mindset that you have to have is when you're trying to be successful. 
you got to make a lot of sacrifices. There's a lot of things that you have to do to, to attain some of the goals and reach the goals that you want to do. So you can definitely tell guys that they come back here a second year as far as seeing some of your friends or your classmates move on is that you, you have that approach to the game that, look, this is what I want to do. These are kind of the things that I want to accomplish by the end of the season. And I think I'm similar to them in that outright, too, is that I only have one year left of college basketball. So all my all is going into this to try and make it work and to have it end up and, and happen the right way. Were you impressed with yourself because in the Bahamas from game one to game four, game one, you look somewhat uncomfortable. Game four, I mean, you were a dominant player out there. Were you impressed by just a few games, a few days, how, how far you kind of came from being able to play out on the floor versus the way you had played? Yeah, I wouldn't say impressed. I, I think the beauty of me of being in college basketball so long and, and kind of going through the ups and downs is that I understand how to stay out of my head and just understand how basketball is and to just be comfortable with myself. I understood that when I was having struggles that I was going to have a good game and it was going to be coming up soon and I just understood that not to get down on myself, to trust the work that I put in, that it's just all about getting comfortable. I have a lot of time to get better as a player. So I think the, the thing that I'd be most impressed with is that I didn't revert to some of the things that I did when I was maybe a freshman or sophomore, is getting down on myself or the world's over or things like that. I understand that it's a long season. It really just stuck in there with myself and was just confident all the way through. You remembered you didn't suck, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you never think that. <laughs>